My name is Fabio de Saia Silva, and I study the dynamic relations among law, lawyers, politics, and society. My home country, Brazil, has been the primary site for my research. But I also engage and increasingly more often in comparative research where Brazil is one of the cases. I went to law school in Sao Paulo and just a few years after my graduation, I was invited to work in the federal government during President Lula da Silva's first term. That was a real privilege. Then I came to the US to get a PhD, went back to Brazil to work again for the federal government, this time as a career researcher. This background that I have, which combines academic training with participation in the day-to-day -day of state power, has deeply shaped my academic work and identity. I think for many scholars, they follow theoretical debates and identify gaps or disagreements. Then they go out in the world trying to find an object that they can look at to fill in those gaps or adjudicate those disagreements. I kind of work the opposite way. I go look for emerging problems in politics, which almost always have a legal piece to them, and try to use theories and methods from the social sciences to help illuminate those problems. One of my most research adventures includes a series of studies on Lava Jato, this Brazilian anti-corruption operation led by judges and prosecutors who were celebrated around the world for ending impunity and upholding the rule of law in the country, but who, as I could demonstrate, in fact promoted a set of values entirely antagonistic to the rule of law, and so paved the way not only for the election of Jair Bolsonaro to the presidency, which they did, but for a broader shift in Brazilian politics to the far right. And these became quite uh, impactful studies, both in academia and public opinion. One of them was the most cited and most downloaded in the journal where it was published in 2020. Another got me the best article award from the Law and Society Association in 2022. And both made it to the pages of the most influential newspapers in Brazil which I never expected, but was very happy about. One of my main research areas now has been the use of law by elected officials to attack and undermine democracy from within. There's even a technical term for that that we use in research, which is autocratic legalism. I'm one of the conveners of a large network of researchers studying this in countries like Brazil, India, South Africa, Hungary, Turkey and the United States. And I'm also the host of a podcast series where we debate this topic and feature our studies called the PALcast. I also like to serve as an institution builder. I'm one of the founding directors of the Center for Brazil Studies at OU, whose mission is to serve as a hub for all things Brazil on campus and to build bridges with Brazilian universities, civil society, and government organizations. I'm also a very active participant of the Law and Society Association, where I currently serve as a trustee. And uh, to my great honor, starting in 2026, I'm going to be the president of BRASA, the Brazilian Studies Association, where I hope to help strengthen the field of Brazilian studies in the U.S. more generally.